Hi Carrie, here is a video to explain how to calculate intercorrelations. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the first column for each dimension and a little bit more of that is explained in your book on page 91. So I'm going to take the first dimension, sorry, the first rating of uh, dimension 1 or x, first dimension of uh, dimension 2 and I'm going to calculate the uh, intercorrelation between the two. So I'm going to create a new column here that says, let's see, I'll write intercorrelation and then under that I'm going to, you can call it xy, you can call it 1, 2, whatever you want. And then under that, I'm going to calculate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same formula that you've been using. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to do A2 through A10, like you've done before, comma, and now I'm going to do D2 to D10. Okay, so again, that's the first dimension, the first rating of the first dimension, first rating of the second dimension. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and there's my intercorrelation for dimension one and dimension two. Now, for your calculations, you need to do the intercorrelation between dimension one and two, one and three, two and three, one in the composite score. 2 in the composite score, and 3 in the composite score. So if you have any further questions, let me know, but you'll use the same formula for each of those intercorrelations.